Okay, and uh, another project underway here. Uh, doing another emblem. I uh, sent this one and basically asked to make it read 1200 instead of 1500. I went ahead and CAD modeled the part and then ran it on my uh, CNC machine to make a pattern. And technically, I could probably weld studs to the back of this and plate it to be done, but he wants uh, like four of them. So we're going to go ahead and make a mold of this one. The uh, plasticine clay, you can actually melt that and pour it, and that's kind of what I did here, and then I put it in the press because I need this to be perfectly flat this time. And then we're going to bed our emblem. It's not even going to be really bedded, it's just going to be kind of stuck down to it this time. And Trick's trying to keep this guy flat. And we'll take and put our mold frame up and on it. Make a little impression to trim it out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish doing what I got to do here, and then I'll be right back with you. Alright, well. I've completed the other half of the mold and one thing I want to show you is that the uh, the waxes have the studs in the back of it okay so when the wax is injected it's coming into the center of the part flowing out filling the mold but these for the studs are basically blind holes there's uh, when it's cast so what can happen is you get a, an air entrapment in there and you can't push the air out and you can't get the stud to fill completely. So what I've actually done is I've taken a pick and gone in and punched a hole all the way through the mold and that'll leave a little mark on the top of the mold that you can see and then you take a razor knife and you just put a real thin slit in the top of the mold and then take a talcum powder and fill in the inside of the slit and that will allow the air to escape through the mold but will stop the wax from flowing completely out and that's how you get your aligning your uh, mounting pins to come out properly that's a helpful little tip then when shooting the mold I'm putting the studs up to the top I'm move the camera over here And I am injecting at, I've already found out that uh, about 13 pounds, 12 pounds, 13 pounds is just the right injection pressure to get the mold to fill completely and to get the, uh, the mounting studs to come out. And I'm going to hold this for probably about 30 seconds. You know, that gives it a chance to really get the mold good and filled and holds pressure on it while the wax begins to solidify. Okay, that's plenty long. Alright, got all our, all of our uh, waxes done. So I'm going to start sprueing them up. And I cut the uh, the sprue so that I know how far down inside the flask these are going to sit and these are going to be a little yeah, I wouldn't say tricky to sprue but I have to be careful how I sprue these up there's not a lot of uh, places to put a sprue in the back of it so we're going to be using some three millimeter wax wire main thing is I want to be able to trim this off not uh, have to spend a lot of time working at getting it cut off
and I don't want to mess up the back of the casting when I put these on. That did not stick. That stuck. I'll trim these up even when I'm all said and done. Okay, I can start attaching them up to the tree without smooshing the emblem back there. These need to be cut down a little bit closer. There's only a limited amount of uh, room in the flask. The other thing I want to try and do is keep the uh, emblem pretty straight it'll save me work on straightening the finished casting out later So now I just gotta take and do this a few more times. And then we'll and be here's our uh, one tree all sprued up. And I'm gonna do the other tree and then I'll be mixing investment. Okay, it's time to mix up some investment powder. I'm still using the uh, Ransom Randolph plastic cast. Uh, I'm mixing this batch a little thinner than normal because I'm actually using it for lost wax casting. So what I'm going to wind up doing is weighing out four and a half pounds of investment. Okay. And to that I am adding, well, water to the bowl first. It's 965 milliliters for four and a half pounds. There's something in my bowl. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to add our powder to it. You always want to add the investment to the water because it makes it easier to mix up than if you added the water to the investment. And we start getting it going here.
now. And then we're going to move it over and vacuum the air out. Now what you'll uh, wind up seeing is the investment's going to rise up and then it'll fall back down. When it falls back down, that means all the air is out of it. And it should take roughly about two minutes as well. Move our place over here, get ready to pour into that. You can see it's raising up. seeing the bubbles burst and it drop back down. Sometimes you gotta give it a little help in hand too. Now we're going to release the vacuum. This thing gets a death grip on there. Pour it into our flask. If you can, you should try and pour down the side of the flask. And let it fill up from the bottom without pouring onto your uh, your wax parts. Otherwise, you could knock them off the tree. Okay. And always make sure you tape the bottom of your flask on because the one time that you don't you'll pick it up and the bottom will fall off and investment powder will go everywhere. Liquid investment powder. And we're going to vacuum that again real quick. minutes later we're going to release the vacuum. Okay, next we'll uh, go into the kiln after they sit a few hours so that most of the moisture is out of them. 
uh, they're going to go into the kiln and be fired and I'll post the uh, recommended firing schedule for the flash size up in the video. That's all. Perfect. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, cut one off the tree and gave it a, a quick polish. Backside of it. But there's what he wanted, except for uh, it to say 1200. There's the 1200. It was CAD modeled CNC machine to make a pattern and then cast in white bronze. There we go. Okay, here's the uh, finished ones. And then there's the 1500. Hopefully.